Hello students, I hope you all are fine. So open your book of social studies. Again we are going to continue chapter number 11 that is pollution. Before starting the video, let me ask some questions related to the previous video. So the questions are, what is water pollution? What are the causes of water pollution? What are the effects of water pollution? What are the solutions of water pollution? What do you mean by global warming? What are the results of global warming? I hope you know the answers of these questions. The objectives of today's video are to know about the meaning, causes, effects and solutions of land pollution. To know about the meaning, causes, effects and solution of nice pollution. Before reading of the chapter, let's discuss terms first. So the first is land pollution means the action of making land or soil dirty and dangerous. Next is noise pollution means excessive unpleasant sound that is harmful for living beings. Now students open page number 76 of your book and see the point land or soil pollution. Land pollution is also called soil Pollution. Now let's start reading. Dumping of household waste, industrial waste and using chemicals in agriculture pollute the land. The solid waste, industrial and agriculture refuse make the soil infertile and harms the organisms living in the soil. Now students, underline the word refuse means not to accept. Next is infertile means unable to reproduce household waste industrial waste and use of chemicals in agriculture pollute the land which ultimately makes the soil infertile and harms the organisms living in the soil see this picture some elephants are eating solid waste, which is not good for their health. See one more picture. A bird has died by eating solid waste. In this way, we can say that land or soil pollution is not at all good for living beings. Next is to prevent land pollution. First is People should be educated and made aware about the harmful effects of littering. Next is, things used for domestic purposes should be reused and recycled to the possible extent. Now students, underline the word domestic means household or something related to house. Next is, reuse means use again or more than once next is recycle means convert waste into reusable material next is extent means area or stretch or length of something being a responsible citizen of society it's a responsibility to create seriousness of the issue that is land pollution so people should be educated and made aware about the harmful effects of land pollution we can reuse our empty glass jars of jams honey etc to store spices herbs pulses etc we should try to recycle things now see this picture Waste plastic bottles are used to do vertical gardening. Students, you can also do this as it has number of benefits. Like it's very good for home decoration. You can see the picture. The wall is looking beautiful after vertical gardening with waste plastic bottles. 
it covers less space of the land vertical gardens don't just look good they do good for the planet as well by increasing oxygen and decreasing carbon dioxide see one more picture this basket is made up of newspapers now let's read the next personal litter should be disposed carefully industrial wastes should be disposed properly farmers should avoid the usage of chemicals now students underline the word litter means rubbish such as cans bottles etc next avoid means neglect or ignore litter means rubbish such as cans bottles etc in other words we can say any waste material that is not properly disposed of is considered litter so we should always throw waste material in dustbin and not near dustbin next is industrial waste should be disposed properly so this picture is showing disposing of industrial waste safely and properly next is farmers should avoid the usage of chemicals because chemicals are really dangerous for soil it decline the good quality of soil next is noise pollution noise or sound pollution means excessive unpleasant sound that is harmful to all living things noise pollution is caused by horns of various vehicle and loud music it is measured in units of decibels and is denoted by db the softest sound we can hear is about 20 decibels anything more than 90 decibels is harmful now underline the word excessive means too much next is unpleasant means causing discomfort next is decibel means a unit used to measure the degree of loudness horns of various vehicles and loud music are the two main reasons of noise pollution this is a picture of db meter means decibel meter the another name of this meter is spl meter means sound pressure level meter by this device we can measure loudness of the sound so 20 db is the softest sound to hear and more than 90 db is harmful for us noise can cause stress irritation and even end up in loss of hearing individuals should protect themselves from the harmful effects of noise pollution now students underline the word individual means a single human being noise pollution may cause high blood pressure sleeping disorders heart problems stress irritation and even end up in loss of hearing so we should always avoid and protect ourselves from noise pollution I hope today's lesson is pretty much clear to you. So now your homework is revise the chapter and terms, do exercise A which is given at page number seventy-seven, and B, C, D given at page number seventy-eight on book. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.